Hello and welcome to the vlog. Now, I know what you're thinking. This vlog was supposed to be the trip to Braunston with my friend Peter. It was going to be a vlog of lovely images of canals, of bridges, of sheep, of cows, of long leisurely pub lunches and all that good canal stuff. And indeed, that video is coming. It is being edited, which is to say I've kind of put the footage on the computer and had a look at it. But it's coming soon. In the meantime, however, there has been what I can only describe as a hiccup. Come through with me to the engine room and I will show you more. Come along, this way, this way. Now, that little box you can see there is a battery charger. And you can probably guess from its positioning, it is not the usual battery charger, it is a temporary battery charger. That box there is the battery charger and it has blown up. It is not working. It is an X battery charger. So this one has been put in place by um, a rather splendid boat electrician guy who came out at rather short notice. And as you can see, the wires from it go down and into the battery compartment below. And so it is giving the batteries the urgent boost they need after that one stopped feeding them any power. Well, now you might be thinking, hold on a minute, what's the crisis if the batteries aren't working? You're in a marina at the moment for winter and you're hooked up to the shore mains. Do you really need the batteries at all? Yes, you do, because although the mains is coming on board the boat, and that is fine, very little on the boat runs off mains electricity. And that, of course, is because when you are out on the canal, you do not have that shoreline connection, so everything is designed to run off the batteries. A lot of things on the boat are 12 volt. The lights, for example, run off 12 volts. The water pump is 12 volt. The electric flush on the loo is 12 volt. The central heating system even runs off 12 volts. The fridge is 12 volt. And in fact, it was the fridge that alerted me to the problem. Clever fridge. You see, this here, little LED, was flashing at me. And I got out the old instruction manual for the fridge and it said a single flash means low voltage. Now I thought, oh, the fridge is about to pack up and I measured the voltage on it, 11.9. It's a 12 volt fridge, I thought, it's being ridiculous. But the problem was, when you went and measured the voltage on the batteries as well, also showing 11.9, and a happy, healthy 12 volt battery should be more than 12 volts. It should be about, I think it's about 12.8 or something like that, uh, bizarre as it seems. So, there was a problem with the batteries, and then I thought, well, the batteries have expired, they're nine years old, which is a hell of a life for a set of batteries. But it turned out, it is the battery charger had blown up. Now, without the charger taking the mains and putting it into the batteries, every time I ran anything on the boat, which of course includes the fridge, which runs 24-7, it's depleting the power out of the batteries and the power is not being put back in. So suddenly, I had a boat that, although I had plenty of mains power coming into, I could do nothing with because it wasn't being put into the batteries for all the gadgets on board the boat to use. Hence having this one running to get everything back up and going again. And I'm pleased to say after a night of hard work, it has put a charge back into the batteries and I can switch everything on again. Now, immediately above that temporary charger is my inverter. It's a bit of a, an old inverter. It's not a very good inverter. It provides what they call a, is a modified sine wave, not proper mains. It doesn't really give you real mains output. And I'm very reluctant to actually plug anything into it and I was always planning on replacing it. So what I have done, given that the charger has failed and that was going to be replaced, I have ordered, at huge expense, a new combined unit that will do both jobs. Now, the new combined charger inverter is from uh, a brand called Victron. They make pretty high-quality gear. They're very well known in the narrow boating world, almost a standard. A lot of boats seem to have them. And I've ordered that um, from a company called Onboard Energy, who were very, very helpful on the phone, done me a very good price, I believe. So that is going to be installed in the next few days by the guy who's charger I am currently using. He is a, a boat electrician, so he will install that for me and I will let you know how I get on. Now in the meantime, now I've got some power again, I can get on with editing that other video which should be, touch wood, the next one in the series. So thank you very much for watching this. Just a quick update to show that it is not all plain sailing on a narrowboat. There are occasional crises when things explode. 
Thanks for watching and hopefully you'll tune in next time. Bye-bye.